Guy Pierce is starring in the new movie out today, Lawless. Uh, good morning, Guy. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm fantastic. The movie Lawless looks good. I got to say, usually I'm not much of like a period piece sort of guy, and this takes place back in the Prohibition era, but the movie still looks exciting and fun, and I, I'm excited for it. Am I, should I be excited? Yeah, look, I, I think that John Hillcoat, the director of the film, he you know, he made The Road, and he made one of my favorite films that I've ever been in, which is The Proposition, and he's a very special filmmaker, and you know, I think someone like him taking a subject matter like this will definitely you know, give it a great flavor that I think people will uh, enjoy, as well as really feel that it resonates with them on some kind of level. So, um, no, I think it's a great film. Yeah, it looks great. In this story, tell us a little bit about your character. It's you and Gary Oldman going after Shia LaBeouf and Tom Hardy's characters? Well, not so specifically. Gary plays a, uh, a sort of a well-known gangster from that period who Shia LaBeouf kind of looks up to and, and comes across at some point. And Shia, Jason Clark, and Tom Hardy play three brothers who are who are making their own moonshine and obviously in prohibition era it's, it's illegal and you know so they're they're running a business and, and trying to do the best they can and i'm the the sort of the outsider cop that's brought in from chicago down to the appalachian um, area where these guys are to try and uh, you know to try and stop them shut them down and so you know there's some real tension obviously between myself and the three brothers but meanwhile gary oldman is a, is a character that uh, that shire as i say really looks up to and i think shire in the film sees himself as a sort of a you know a little future gangster i guess ah uh, yeah an aspiring gangster i well i could see why they cast you as the uh, guy from the appalachians just because of your accent i mean it kind of is a natural fit as kind of a backwoods appalachian type guy <laughs> well no, I mean, I have a very different accent in the movie, actually. I, uh, you know, I, I, you don't hear my, well, hopefully you don't hear my Australian accent in the film. Is that hard for you as somebody with an Australian accent? When you go into a film, or I guess with any accent, I mean, do you just kind of put on your, when you're auditioning, like, here's kind of how I would assume they would talk, or do you go into, like, serious dialect training to get that kind of, you know, Eastern Appalachian I mean do you take the accent very seriously before the audition or is that after you actually get a part well thankfully I didn't have to audition for this film because I'd worked for this director before so he uh, he thankfully offered me the role before I was even able to convince him that I could do the accent uh, I mean as I say I'm playing someone from Chicago though so I've got a really strong unusual Chicago accent oh yeah in the movie but but in answer to your question ultimately yes I, I work very diligently with a dialect coach called Tim Monick, who's really fantastic, and and he breaks it down and you know runs me through the history of the accent and and also details like whether the character is of a poor background or a wealthy background, um, you know certain things they're trying to hide in their voice, etc. So it's really quite a detailed um, process, uh, I find, and it's difficult sometimes. Yeah, some accents are much harder than others to do, and and um, some are easier. You know, it just depends on which one you're doing. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people don't even think of that, though. They're like, oh, yeah, it's just, you know, he's an actor. He can put on an accent. And they don't realize that it's it's almost like, you know, bulking up for a role to play, a you know, a big buff guy or something. It's like going to the gym every day. got to work on yeah, that stuff. Yeah, well, absolutely. You're really working on the muscles in your in your sort of throat and your around your mouth because, you know, words come out of your mouth in different ways, different shapes, you use your tongue differently, and you've really got, it's like learning a song, you know, you've got to learn the melody, you've got to learn the rhythm, and the difficult thing is, of course, if you're on set and they suddenly say to you, oh, by the way, we've rewritten the script and here are your new lines of dialogue. Yeah. You know, if you've got to do that off the cuff, I find that really difficult, I need a few days to, <laughs> to yeah. really wrap my mouth around, uh, uh, you know, the shapes of words, and so I'm not very good at uh, last-minute changes. Yeah, so you're not going to be doing an improvised film as, as in a dialect anytime soon? Well, funnily enough, I did an improvised film with Drake Doremus last year. Um, not as difficult as the Chicago accent. It was just a more generic American accent. But still difficult, though, because... You know, when you're improvising, you spontaneously just come up with whatever suits you at the time. And I definitely found myself getting some words wrong. Um, and then other times I would go to say something and not be sure, and so I wouldn't say it. Yeah. So my characters ended up being a bit more silent than, <laughs> than uh, we'd probably originally thought. So even, 
you know, I don't know how I don't know how many improvised movies I would probably do. Yeah, not not necessarily all of them for sure. Well, speaking of other movies that you're doing though, Lawless, of course, is the uh, the one that everybody needs to check out soon. But everybody loves Iron Man, and you uh, is it official now publicly that you are joining the cast of Iron Man three? Uh, yes, I am on board. Uh, we've been shooting for some time now. Um, I, I do struggle to talk about films that I'm making whilst making them, uh, though, to be honest. So I'm nervous about what you're going to ask me. Yeah, I, I won't get too deep, but here's the thing. Your character in the comic books has a very, very small role in the comics, but in the film, you know, from everything we're reading, it seems that your character is much larger. Is that true? Do you play a very small part in the movie, or has your character been made a more major role in the film? Oh, it's probably a sort of split, splitting the difference, you know. It's not, it's not really a major role in the film, um, but he's kind of important, you know. There's an important aspect, but I'm not in, I'm not in there a lot. So, um, you know, not unlike my role in um, um, Lawless, you know, it's an, it's an important role, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sort of on screen that much. You know? Yeah, you're not in the Iron Man suit. Correct. <laughs> or who knows? Maybe you are. I don't want to ruin anything. No, no, no. Definitely. I'll leave that to uh, to Robert and his uh, and his Iron Man abilities. Did you try it on ever just for fun, just for a Facebook picture or something? No, I haven't yet. Actually, you should uh, just to put out. They look a bit uncomfortable to me. I don't know that I'd want to be trying it on. Yeah, is he? Is he, he was actually injured recently. Is that? Do you know if he's okay? If Robert's all right, or are you offset right now? Yeah, we're just having a little break at the moment because of that injury, and uh, you know, but he'll be fine. Yeah, we're, so we've, we've just sort of we've just you know put things on hold for uh, a week or two, and we're, we'll get back into it shortly. <laughs> Excellent, that's good. Well, aside from uh, promoting Lawless, filming Iron Man three, what else is going on for uh, for you? Anything? Any other news? Any other movies you're working on? Um, no, nothing yet. I mean, there's a couple of things that are in the pipeline, but they don't necessarily have their money yet, so I'm just waiting to see if they're really going to happen. Um, I made a couple of TV movies back in Australia uh, centred around a character called Jack Irish um, at the end of last year, and they'll go to air in Australia, and hopefully, you know, they'll be screened in other countries as well. Um, and they're based on a couple of crime novels by an Australian author called Peter Temple. Um, so I did those, and awesome. as I said, I did Drake Doremus' imp improvised movie, which I think is going to go to Sundance in January. So I've had a couple of things that I've done that, that are still yet to come out. Very cool. Well, we're excited to see all of them. Of course, we'll check out Lawless in theaters and uh, Iron Man 3 when it comes around. We'll see in that. And plus, everything else. You're doing so many movies so often, and we love them all. And uh, we hopefully we'll get to talk to you again in the future. But if not, just keep kicking butt with the career and uh, thanks so much for taking time for us Guy Pierce. no worries thanks man good to talk to you alright you have a great one bye bye alright see you The Big J Show weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings number one hit music station Hot 101.9